thank you guys for joining me in this third video on my journey on building this uh, two-dimensional game engine in C++ using the SDL library. So um, in this video, I'm just going to make a short uh, showcase of my texture manager class, how I implement it and um, how, it's, how it's actually working and all that kind of stuff. And um, as I said, I'm still coming out with the playlist on how to build this from scratch where we're going to be working on this together. Now, before I get started, I just want to mention two things. Please, guys, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything. You might also want to, you know, turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload something, you get a notification and know what's going on right here. Now, the purpose of this video is to show you where I'm, where I am actually in this project because I want to finish it before starting it on YouTube because I the experience I have on YouTube is that many people started this kind of project but they, they haven't finished it because you know maybe they came to the point where it was too hard or maybe they didn't have a good beginning that's why I don't wanna you know start doing the video list the, the video series about this where I explain how we can build this together because I wanna make sure I will finish it if I start it now um, I also want to mention that my channel now has a Patreon account so you guys can support me there and you know it's a good thing. Now let's get started. As I said, I want to show you my texture manager class. So this is my header file. We're gonna be getting to the C file in a couple of seconds. Now this is my header file. In my texture class, I have some important public method like the init which is simply going to be loading all our you know tile set or images or spreadsheet and all that kind of stuff before the game started he's going to load everything prepare them for use and we use this load function in the init to be able to initialize and what the load function does it simply take a file name you know a spreadsheet or whatever an image a background image it take the file name it also takes an ID a string as ID because we also want to be able to reference to this element uh, in the game later on that's why we also give an idea we have this this right here we have a list here down here a map which take a string and the SDL texture and the string is exactly that ID because we're gonna start this with the ID and later when we're gonna use it we just reference with the ID and we can access that image and use it without having to struggle with anything now we have the draw this is for drawing static object like the background image or whatever all things that are gonna be static with a predefined size we just use this draw function that's why you can see here it takes the ID of the object in this list down here the ID of the texture the position where we want the, the texture to be rendered the size and it also take information about the direction the orientation of the that object that texture is it gonna be flipped horizontally or vertically that's why we put this <clears throat> now we also have this draw frame the draw frame now is when we're gonna draw uh, some spreadsheet like the player for example is a lot of you know frame that we're drawing on the screen and we need some um, some plus information about this to be able to draw a frame on the screen like for example if we have a spreadsheet let me open one here give me a second please um i'm gonna go to my game then um let's say here for example no like here for example i have this player right here i'm opening the file um sorry i'm, I'm using vs code to open images i don't have any image loader right now um second too long yeah you see <clears throat> this spreadsheet for example has two frames and we want to be able to animate our player by you know going through those frame and show them on the screen that's why we actually want to have a row this one actually has only one row but it has two frame that's why we need to specify the row and the frame that we want to show on the screen and it also has this flip stuff for the orientation we also have another uh, uh, important draw func function which is the draw tile you know um, when you see here on the screen all these things are tiled image um, from a till set if you don't know what a till set is let me show you in a couple of seconds so if I go over here open this one for example now 
this is a till set oh this is pretty clean nice small yeah this is a till set for example it has image which are uh, you know a layout in blocks in my case here um, they are 32 uh, by 32 pixel uh, dial that's why we have all this I also created this function to be able to draw those till and it takes some uh, some important information like the tile size it's not so different from draw frame but I did wanted to have another function to handle tile that's why I did create this one I could have used this draw frame to, to do that but I wanted to do this because um, yeah it's it's important for the for, for you know to be consistent in the way I do my stuff now we also wanted this class to be a singleton class that's why we also uh, create this static uh, method here to be able to you know to retrieve the actual instance of this class if it exists if not we create one and down here I think I already talked about is this instance is a static object that we created to be able to reference to it every time and we have the constructor which are private because we don't want to create I could have removed them doesn't matter anyway but I just leave them there now if I switch over to the C++ file as I told you the init function simply load you know loads our our, our images and stuff until set as you can see here the texture load this is the function which load all those things now we create a surface with the EMG load we can simply load a file an image then we create a surface from it and from that surface we can create a texture as you can see here SDL already provide all things to do that without having to struggle with that now if the texture is null if he wasn't able to create that texture from that surface then we push a message error and you know we just come out without doing anything but if it went correctly then we started in the texture map we created with the ID given and then we have it in the storage we could use it for other purposes and my draw function are pretty basic I mean yeah now to draw a function to draw um, anything on the on, on the screen in SDL there are two important things that need to be specified we need to specify the source rectangle and the destination rectangle the destination rectangle is actually where we want to draw it on the screen and the source is which part of the image do we want to draw because you sometimes have a huge image but you only want to draw a part of it with this rect here you can define a rectangle which is going to be you know uh, put over the image and select only the part you specified and then the destination is going to be telling the computer where is that source rectangle is going to be drawn on the screen that's that's the whole idea of this and the SDL render copy X is a function used to render things on the screen it takes a renderer as I said my engine class was in singleton a static class that's why I created this get renderer function because I want to have only one renderer on the screen I don't want to have many renderer for the same engine that's why I could reference back to it using this get renderer function now I also have to pass the idea of this, the, the, the texture I want to print out on the screen that's why it was important to have it here as parameter and the other thing is giving those right we also have important thing here like a point the point and the angle how which angle do you want to um, um, your image to be to be um, printed on <clears throat> and the point is on which point do you want your object to be rotated on the center when I put node it means center you know print it on the center rotate it on the center I could specify an angle here and it's gonna do the same and the draw frame and the draw tile are basically the same dot just for the tile we have a constant a constant uh, size for tile and yeah it's the same thing I don't have to go through that right now so where I use it is simply here in the game engine that I was explaining before I simply use it in the init function here where I initialize so I load all my texture stuff and here I create a player with all the things and you know inside the player I use this texture to be able to draw the player but we are coming to, to the player class in the coming part so and <clears throat> yeah that's it actually 
the rest is just done by each class like the player for example the the rendering is is still in the class itself we're gonna be seeing that so that was basically how I build my texture manager class um, it wasn't huge we didn't have to write a lot of lines of code but it's still consistent and the result is quite good I like it so thank you guys for watching videos on Mexico channel and uh, remember my YouTube now has a patreon account you have the link in the uh, screen right now you can simply go there and support me I want to invest more time in this and you know provide more um, such a content so that you guys can enjoy it with me so have a nice day or a nice night or whatever ciao